In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a complete animated movie using Sora 2. So you are not restricted to just 12 seconds of a clip. You can create a complete short video or a short movie using Sora 2. Mine was around 1 minute 15 seconds. So take a look at this video and then I'll show you everything step by step. Go ahead, Meher. You can start. Everyone's looking at me. What if I forget everything I practiced? I can't. I'm just too nervous. I can't do this. Maybe I'm just not confident like others. <laughs> hey, Mayor, what happened? I messed up again, Brother Dev. Hmm. Meher, you're not alone. What do you mean? Even Swami Vivekananda was once scared before his first big speech. Really? Yes, Meher. Then what happened? Well, he believed that if you speak from the heart, people will listen. Yes, you're right. I can do this. <laughs> sure you can. Remember, believe, just like Vivekananda. Right. No fear, just faith. Good evening, everyone. My name is Meher, and tonight I'd like to share a story about courage. Thanks. I did it! You are amazing out there. Thanks, Brother Devu. I told you, confidence grows when you keep trying. You are amazing out there. So let me show you how you can use a little bit of creativity to extend your 12 seconds clip to create an entire animated story video. Now all my videos are getting generated in one single platform that is Hicksfield.ai. And the best part is that you can use any video model to generate your videos and you don't have to pay separately to all the different AI generation platforms. Hicksfield got everything in one place so you don't have to run around here and there. And not just this animation movie, I also created an alien attack movie. But in this video, I'm going to concentrate on how I created this animation video. So let's dive into the first step of this process and that is getting a story. Now you can go ahead and search for stories anywhere online or you can go ahead and ask the good and old chat GPT to come up with some story ideas. But in my case, I already had a story in mind. There was a comics that my daughter was reading and I was curious to see if we can convert this comics or this story in this comics into an animated video. And I thought, let's give it a try. So what I did is I narrated the entire story to ChatGPT and then asked ChatGPT to, to segment this story into different scenes and make sure that each scene is maybe around 12 seconds. You need to make sure that you have a little bit of conversation with ChatGPT and then you will achieve the final result. So once you spend a little bit of time with ChatGPT and narrate your requirement in different scenes, then you will be able to optimize your conversation to give you scenes that are specifically made for 12 second clip. And once you have all your scenes ready, like mine here, so here you can see we have scene number one where we have this uh, little section where we have created the comic style pattern. So the panel represents the comic page or the comic section and here is the dialogue that will be visible on top of that comic section. Here is the next panel of that comic page that this will be the dialogue of that comic page. So this will be the dialogue on the comic panel. But with the conversation with ChatGPT, I converted the whole thing into different scenes that I'll be using it to convert into animation. So I need different scenes. Now, if you want to access all my resources that I use to train the conversation to give me all these scenes in ChatGPT and how I generated my scenes and how I generated my videos completely done step by step, then you can go ahead and join the school community that I will link in the video description below. Now, once we have generated all the scenes in ChatGPT, the next step is to create our animated character. So here are the two main characters of this particular story. One is the girl who is the main lead role. She is getting a TED talk from his brother and 
getting help from his brother to do the speech confidently on stage. Now, in order to create all these characters, you can use any AI platform. You can also use Higgsfield because it got all the different image generation models. But somehow I was not sure why when I tried to generate my characters, it didn't work. Maybe because of some server error or maybe because I was generating kids images. So I'm not very sure about it, why it didn't work on Higgsfield. So I just went ahead and used ChatGPT, the good old one. And because I needed only animated characters, so I know that ChatGPT can keep the characters consistent when we are just generating cartoons. So I just went ahead and started a new conversation to generate the image. Here was my initial prompt that a nervous girl standing on, I mean, on stage with some Pixar style animation. And this was the output. But my mistake was that I forgot to mention the aspect ratio. So I corrected that in the next prompt. So I made it 16 by 9 so that I can use it for the landscape video. And then I um, try to generate the next scene using the same character that now the character is sitting on stairs, feeling sad and holding paper in the hand, something like that. So this was the final output of that. So this was the output of that prompt which is pretty good. Then I thought I'll also need a character image where there is no mic and the character image is standing in a proper human position with smile on face. So here was the final result. And after that, I also generated same image again with smile on face of the character. And I wanted the character to shift to the right side of the frame so that I can use it as a thumbnail. But the reason I generated this image without mic and the character smiling because I need to use this image to generate my second character of the story and that is the boy. Now as my conversation was going on with ChatGPT and it was generating all my images, I thought let's not waste time. So I opened a new thread of chat on lmarena.ai. So I used Nano Banana here and direct chat to generate my images. And here I just gave a very simple prompt to convert this girl character into a boy. So here is the output, which is perfect for the story. And then I asked Nano Banana or Gemini to combine these two images where the boy is going to sit next to this girl so that he can give his TED talk. And here is the output, which is pretty wild. And then I again went ahead and gave the prompt that uh, now the girl is feeling a little bit confident after listening to, to the boy and she is now ready to give speech again. So that's why I pasted the same sad girl with mic here and then make her stand as a confident girl in front of the mic who is ready to take on the stage. And then I thought let's add another frame in the video where the boy is going to give a final TED talk or the inspirational punch right on the stage itself. So I combined the two images to create something like this, which actually came out pretty well. And then I just uh, thought of a final scene when the girl will finish the speech and both of them will give a hi-fi scene. So I again combined the two images to create this final output. And again, all of this prompt and all of these images will be available in the school community. If you want all of these to recreate yours, you can go ahead and check out the link in the video description below. Now, once we have generated all the scenes, next stage is to create the entire video in form of small clips. And here is the point where the magic begins. Now here you can see I have tried generating multiple videos for the same scene because even in the 12 seconds clip, you don't know what AI is going to generate. And sometimes it's not what you're looking for or it's not up to that mark which you want to use. So I give it three different tries and then I combined all of three taking segments from all of these 12 second clips to create my final one in my video editor. So now using Sora 2, we generated all these scenes, but here is something interesting that you need to check. If you take a look at this scene here, this was the final output. This is the 12 second clip and this is the prompt that I used. Now, if you take a closer look, this is not a normal text prompt. It got some timestamps it got some camera angle or the short angle 
and it also got dialogues that my character is going to say. So I'm not sure what's its official name, but I call it timestamp prompt. So what happens here is that I know how my scene is going to look. So I just started a new chat in ChatGPT and described the entire scene and asked ChatGPT to convert this entire scene into different sections of timestamps and give this style of prompting to all of these segments in the scene. So here you can see with the starting to two second, there will be a medium shot, then there will be over the shoulder shot and with some dialogues and, and so on. It continues till 11 to 10 seconds. And if you notice, it's actually pretty bang on. We have the first section where the boy says this dialogue and it's pretty much does the same. Remember, believe, just like Vivekananda. Right. So you can see as soon as the video starts, it's a medium shot where the character says this particular dialogue and then it jumps on to the next scene, which is again over shoulder shot of our character showing the main character in frame. And then the main character says this dialogue. And once again, it no fear, just faith. And once again, it nailed it perfectly. We can clearly see that the shot is coming behind our character's shoulder, showcasing the main character in frame and then the right dialogue as it is. No fear, just faith. And that's the dialogue here. So you can get pretty specific what you want and how you want it. And in the same way, we described all the different shots with timestamp and with camera angle and the dialogue we want if we need one. So in the same way, using the same timestamp technique of prompting, I generated this entire story. So sometimes I have to again generate the video twice and take the best out of both. But Sora 2 generates some bang on video if you do the timestamp prompting. And I'm going to combine all of these prompts into one single file showcasing how different scenes are getting generated so that you can take inspiration from it and maybe recreate your own to see how it works for you. Now, once we have generated all our scene, the only job left is using our video editor. So you can use any video editor. I use Adobe Premiere Pro and sometimes Filmora. So you can use anyone which works best for you. And because we have generated the same clip more than once, you can go ahead and take the best section of each clip that you have generated to create your final video. And I also did the same because if you notice, uh, there are because every time it's not going to generate the perfect video. Sometimes it switches the dialogue with the character and sometimes the dialogue gets delivered as a voiceover. So sometimes it do hallucinate, but thanks to Higgsfield, you can generate unlimited videos using Sora 2 if you are using Higgsfield. So if you want to grab this opportunity of generating unlimited videos using Sora 2, check out the link in the video description below and sign up today. And once again, I use the same timestamp technique to generate this short clip of alien attack as well. Again, you can see that I have generated the same scene twice so that I can take the best one out from both of the scenes to create my final video. So this was pretty much it. So combining all these steps, you can also go ahead and create your entire AI animated movie using Sora 2 on Higgsfield. Now, if you have any questions, then feel free to add them in the comment section below. I will try my best to answer as soon as possible. And once again, all the prompts, scenes and process will be added in detail in the school community. So go ahead and join it if you want to learn more about AI filming and all the creative stuff we can do using AI. So if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.